Brubaker hasn't been too bad as of late. His last seven starts, a 293 earned run average. Home run totals are down for him. He's done a good job keeping the ball in the ballpark. Christian Yelich will stand in. Ground ball right side, diving play, Josh Van Meter, and there is Brubaker, and that's a good start to this homestand. Brubaker does an excellent job of fielding his per position. Here's Willie Adamas. He is the DH tonight. Here's the one two swing and a miss struck him out on the slider down and away or when he can put that there against a right handed batter boy it's fun to watch Rowdy Telez coming up little dribbler fair ball one two three for JTB Adrian Hauser makes his first start against Pittsburgh this season Rocky has been brilliant against them in the past no kidding I mean two and oh a one fifty two earned run average Brian Reynolds three home runs yesterday now with fifteen. Here's the pitch. Swing and a line drive into right base hit. Just keeps it rolling. Turned around the Hauser fastball. He's got a leadoff single, or pardon me, a one out single to right. Vogel back, the DH. 10 home runs on the season for him, hitting 220. That's hit in the air towards center. Tyrone Taylor breaking in. It'll be Luis Urias who's going to make the catch instead. And the inning is over. So Brubaker was in the midst of a potentially very quick inning, and Tyrone Taylor is coming up. In the air. And again, Reynolds. And in right, going to give way to Madris in right center. Adrian Hauser will start off with Josh Van Meter. Here's the 2 0. And a swing of the liner right back up the middle. Base hit. Nice piece of hitting right there by Josh Van Meter. He stands at first base now, and nobody out for O'Neill Cruz. And hits this hard to right center field. O'Neill Cruz. Look at this ball go. Oh! Another cruise missile clearing the deck into the landing. Another line drive, and it's two to nothing. His second. It's no doubt, isn't he? Here's Sawinski. Here's the pitch. And a swing and a fly ball out to deep center. Taylor back, running out of road. There it goes. Jack Sawinski. The future is now. Sawinski and Cruz go back to back, and the Pirates lead 3 0. Another hard hit ball again, using the biggest, one of the deepest parts of the ballpark, straightaway center. Again, Jack Sawinski again showing why he's been so exciting to watch. Again, the pop in the bat. And there's two down now for Brian Reynolds. It's this one off the end of the bat. And Arias, the only man on the left side of the infield, will take care of it, and that'll end the inning. Peterson, Yelich, and Adamas scheduled. A lot of time left in this one. Peterson, a ground ball sharply hit it, eats up the second baseman. It'll be a base hit for Jace Peterson, and he's going to try and turn it into two. Here comes the throw, and it's offline. And Peterson, a hustle. Potential double here for Peterson. And Mudris got over there fairly quickly, but Jace Peterson was, was thinking a double right out of the batter's box. Good hustle by Peterson to get himself into scoring position. Yelich bounced out his only time. He's coming in on an eight game hitting streak. And he rockets a ball into the right field corner. Brewers are going to be on the board as Christian Yelich is going to trade places with Jace Peterson, and he's not stopping at second. He's looking for three. Here's the throw, not in time. It's a triple. Three to one on the triple by Yelich. Well, he hit a rocket. What a nice swing by Christian Yelich on a 2 0 pitch. And nothing better than to watch Christian Yelich go from home to third. Nobody does it quicker. Adamas struck out his only trip. Adamas does just that. Hits it right back up the middle. Hoy Park throws him out. Yelich comes down the line to score. It's three to two. Yeah, do the little things. Important for Hauser. Shut down Pittsburgh, too. Four pitch walk to Vogelback. And Scott Berenger and Craig Counselor are now going to go out and check on Adrian. And they're going to take him out of this ballgame. That was a quick decision. And you can tell Adrian flexing that right hand. Brent Suter going to have as much time as he needs to warm up after replacing the injured Adrian Hauser. He'll get Josh Van Meter singled back in the second inning and scored. Ground ball to the right side. Wong goes to second. That's one. There's two. Double play. Suter comes in. And rolls a double play. Omar Narvaez is coming up. Van Stank put at second base is Colton Wong. Hits it down the right field line. That one is going to be trouble. It's a fair ball into the corner. 
Brewers are going to tie the game on another double, this time by Omar Narvaez. And that's a slider that time. Didn't do much. Omar looking for something inside. He got it and able to rip it down in a corner. Brewers are doubling Brubaker to death here today. First base runner against Brent Suter. It brings up the catcher, Michael Perez. One out in the inning, Suter ready. The 2-2. Two -two. And now Perez drives one to right field. He clears the deck with a cannonball. Michael Perez, a two-run homer, gives the lead back to the box. So now two on with one out, and here's Josh Van Meter. Madras at second, Vogel back at first. That one hit towards center field. Tyrone Taylor makes the catch. They're going to double up the runner at second base. Wong is there, makes the catch. There's an unconventional double play. It works out. It's 5-4 Pirates here in the sixth. And so two men reach in a row with two outs and the base is empty. Now with two on Jace Peterson who has doubled tonight is coming up. And a wave and a miss. He struck him out and that ends the inning. So Brubaker rebounds. So a runner at first for Michael Perez here. And there's a drive to right field and clear the deck with a big time cannonball. And a two homer game for Michael Perez. And the Pirates tack on two more. It's seven to four. Here is Michael Perez tonight with a couple of home runs. He's driven in four. Here's the 1 0. And Perez hits one deep to right. Oh my goodness. Michael Perez hits his third home run of the night. <laughs> yes, sir. We've witnessed history again. Three home runs for Michael Perez on a four hit night. The Pirates lead it eight to four. And we love it. You can you got to love this game Joe. Unbelievable. Every opportunity. It's every day you have an opportunity to do something great. Michael Perez has embraced today. Three home runs four for four. What a night. David Bednar is on. He's making his 29th appearance, a 178 ERA. Couple of hits here by Peterson and Yelich. Now Adamas, you got the thump up there. And Adamas into left center field. That's going to plug a gap. One run is in. Yelich is going to be held at third. Adamas with an RBI double. It's an 8 6 ball game. And now runners on the corners and two away for Colton. Brown ball and it's knocked down by the first baseman Chavis. No play. A run is in and the inning continues. It's a one run game. My oh my. Well, Chavis didn't come too far from ending that game. That's a heck of a play that dive. He kept it close but not close enough. Colton Wong busting it down the line. That'll be a base hit. Well Bednar he can't know if that back is bothering him but he did not look like himself for the second straight outing. And now Yeri De Los Santos with the tying run at second, the go-ahead run on at first, and two outs in the ninth inning. Eight to seven. Luis Urias the batter. Popped him up. How about the Yeri De Los Santos story? He raises the Jolly Roger. Another unforgettable night. David Bednar could not close it out. De Los Santos back-to-back -back saves for the rookie. In this case, the Pirates hit five. Michael Perez has a career night, four for four, and three home runs for the Pirates catcher.